Hey everyone, <clears throat> and welcome back to this brand new video uploading here on the channel of Ginsum Life. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a super exciting video. A lot of you have been requesting it and it's finally the time that we have a new bulletproof helmet glitch and um, solid forward face cap glitch. And yeah, it's finally out. I'm super excited. My throat hurts a little bit again. I'm sorry that I have it so many times. So I'm sorry for my voice, but you will probably hear this for like another set of days if I will upload. So I'm just telling you guys now my throat hurts a bit so my voice sounds a little bit different. But I will bring you out this video and I will explain it to you the best way possible. So of course with this bulletproof helmet glitch you will not lose any outfits. You do not have to uh, delete anything. You will not uh, have to delete your character whatever. This is just basically a outfit merge type of glitch. And you can do it on your second character or your first character. It doesn't matter at all. And... Um, the only thing that you will need are two PlayStation systems and if I'm correct this will also work on the Xbox because you have to like simply join a friend in the end of the glitch and like I said you need two consoles every time in the top left corner where you will also see my watermark I will put if I'm on console 1 or if I'm on console 2 and I will, I will also tell you throughout this tutorial. So currently we're on console number 1 and I'm going to be showing you the setup in order to get this. So first of all, you want to have an outfit saved, which has a adversary color with bulletproof helmet. So for me, I have the white helmet. Um, you can use purple, green, orange, pink, blue, um, pink, or I, oh, I already okay. told that. <laughs> and you can use any color of the helmets that you want and just want to save it. And then um, it doesn't matter which outfit you put underneath, as long as you have one of those adversary color red helmets. The link to save adversary mode outfits will be in the description box down below. And if you're doing this to get the forward face cap, make sure you get a forward face it color it adversary cap. Any of those will work too. So now on the second slot or anywhere else in your save it outfits list, you need to have a biker helmet saved. A dome helmet and that will be the component for the colored bulletproof helmet so I will leave all the components for the helmet in the description box down below I'm going to be getting the pink helmet so I'm going to be using the stars and stripes dome so take a look in the description box which color you want to get and then you just want to save your biker helmet anywhere so now your setup is done you have a colored bulletproof helmet saved and you have your biker helmet saved and we can now start with the glitch so make sure you apply your biker helmet outfit and just throw on some sunglasses and you should see a yellow safe icon in the bottom right corner. Now as soon as you've seen the yellow safe icon from this point you want to open up the pause menu, go to the online tab and hit find new session. But take a look, your friend needs to get ready at this point or you have to go to your second console. Because if you hit find new session you will see um, like three times that you're going up into the sky so boom boom boom. And on the third time that you're fully loaded into the sky, your friend is going to log into your account. Or you're just going to log onto your account on your second PlayStation. So here we go. I'm going to be hitting find new session. Boom, boom, boom. We're up here in the clouds and now we're going to be logging into console number two. So on console number two, you simply uh, want to start GTA. Just like you see here in the gameplay and just give it some time to like fully load up the game. Now as soon as you've started up GTA 5 and you are here inside of story mode, all you have to do is open up the pause menu and just make your way over to a invite only session. And you should spawn in wearing that outfit with the biker helmet and the glasses on your female or male character. So now from this point, the only thing that basically your friends or you have to do on console number 2 is open up the interaction menu, go over the style and apply your bulletproof helmet outfit. So that's what I'm going to be doing right here in the gameplay and that's the only step that your friends or you have to do on console number 2. Now if you have applied your bulletproof helmet outfit you should see a yellow safe icon in the bottom right corner. As soon as that goes away all your that all oh my god I'm having problems with talking. <laughs> all what you have to do is just simply Hold down your PlayStation button and just close the application and then just log out of the account. That's what your friend has to do on his or her console onto your account 
or on your second PlayStation. These are the steps that you must do. And you do not need console number two right now. We're actually at 50% of the glitch right now. This one is really easy to do. So I've done a yellow save icon. I've closed the application and locked out. And now we're back here on console number one. But before you log back into console number one. Do not return to the GTA 5 game because you will get an alert message and we need to bypass that alert message in order to bring our outfit online and to just simply get it. So what you must do is you want to log into your account and then you want to just go over to your friends list, just grab any friend that is playing GTA 5 at the moment, then you want to scroll over to that and you want to, uh, you will see join. So before you go ahead and hit join, you want to double tap your PlayStation home button and then you will be brought back over to the GTA 5 game. Now this is the alert that you should see on screen, the Rockstar matchmaking service has failed, blah blah blah. Now what you have to do is simply hit X and as soon as you've accepted it, you want to double tap your PlayStation home button and hit join player. And if you're on Xbox, you can just simply do that too. So as soon as you've hit join player, you will just load back over to story mode. And from this point, you want to spam X to like accept it. So as soon as you see the alert, you want to hit X and it will just keep spamming X and you will immediately be thrown back up into the clouds. And you will now start loading into a new GTA 5 online session. So I slow it down a bit so you guys can see it. You want to accept it as soon as poss possible. And then just wait for yourself to load in. So once you're loaded back into a new session, you should still be wearing that outfit with the biker helmet if you did it all correctly. Now what you want to do from this point is you want to hold down your touchpad, go into go into inventory, go into arm ammo, and just buy any type of ammo. So the rounds or the full ammo, doesn't matter, just buy any of that. So as soon as you've bought some type of ammo, you want to back out and just simply go to style accessories and take off those glasses or just put on the glasses that you were using and this should trigger another yellow save icon in the bottom right corner. So now as you've seen that, we're basically good to go and we're all done with the glitch. So what I'm going to be doing on my console number one account too is just simply closing the application and logging out. So now, once we have closed it and we're logged out, we're just going to be logging back into our account and we're going to be restarting our GTA 5 game and basically we are now done with the glitch. So as you can see, I'm loading up GTA 5 here. We're spawning inside story mode. Now we're just going back over to an invite only session. And you should spawn in with your female Romeo character with the color helmet that you want. So for me, like I said, I was using the pink helmet and here I got it. So I'm going to be saving it. Now you should also get the color that you want and this is basically a very easy and quick method to get this. So take advantage of this, this might be getting patched really soon. So do it, get all the helmets that you want and then yeah, you're good to go. So if it worked for you, please leave a like on this video. And of course, if you like it, it subscribe to the channel of Gaming Time Live for more glitches and outfits and turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest uploads. And of course, all my social media links will be in the description box down below. And leave any suggestions in the comments box down below what you would like to see next here on the channel. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye guys!